<laughs> Where to, Jamie? To the hotel and step on it. Okay. <laughs> Jamie says step on it, I say. Time to break out the drifting moves. Because apparently drifting is not just slicker. <laughs> it's quicker. That was quick, but sloppy. You could use some lessons. Okay. Hold on, I'm coming. You know what drifting is, right, Jamie? Yeah, it's a style of racing where they spin the rear wheels and are able to slide around corners going sideways. Exactly. You know, it's funny. That's the one thing that I can think of that we haven't actually been trained to do with cars. Well, that ends right now because this entire episode is devoted to drifting. Later, we're going to power slide into a parking space. But first, we have a myth on the docket that drifting is actually faster than regular race driving. Time to break out our racing gear. Exactly. The perfect drift requires a precisely timed sequence of moves. The engine's revved, the handbrake momentarily engaged, and the power applied. Then by steering into the slide and keeping the throttle floored, the kinetic friction of the spinning tires supplies the centripetal turning force. But is it actually quicker, or does it just look slicker? To find out, it's driver training with a difference. Our drifting instructor today is professional driver Conrad Grunwald. He's been racing for 15 years, the last 10 of them in the Formula Drift Series. And he's going to show Jamie and I a little bit about what's what when it comes to drifting. Shotgun. Okay. Before the guys take the wheel, the lesson begins with a demonstration to get a feel for what the drift is all about. Cue the joy ride of a lifetime. Conrad, I can tell already this is going to be pretty high on the brown pants index <laughs> watching you come up here. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> He's right about the brown pants, though. All right, Jamie, you ready? All right. OK, let's slide. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, my god. That's a little taste of uh, a drift car. What do you think? That is 